this uh, cellar, we call it the cemetery. And, uh, and the name was, uh, uh, was, was given by our workers. My grandfather did not like that uh, we call this cellar cementerio, uh, the cemetery, because he's, he used to say that the wines were alive. This was built in 1940 by my grandfather after the Spanish Civil War. My great-grandfather and his wife had died during the war and my grandfather inherited uh, lots of old bottles in, in wood cases and because of the high humidity of the cellar uh, they were not in good conditions. And uh, why did uh, they store all these, all these uh, bottles? Because historically Rioja used the name Crianza for uh, meaning in general wines that have gone through barrel aging. In fact, crianza is a very beautiful Spanish word that we use for, uh, it's like nurturing, uh, it's like uh, educating, it's like the elevage from France, but uh, educating children is used for children and for animals. So for us, the, uh, the time that the wine passed through the barrel, or nowadays we know that the wine obtains a gentle, soft uh, uh, stabilization, a micro oxygenation through the porosity of the barrel, um, and that how we know how the wine ages. But it's just a, a gentle uh, a stabilization or a, passion, a, pass, uh, a patient stabilization of the wine. And the word reserva, where the wines reserve for a special occasion, for, a, for an anniversary, for a wedding, for a special visitor. And, uh, and, and of course, 100 years ago, they didn't have the knowledge of how the wine evolved inside the bottle, so they used to store as reservas and reserve wines that have a better balance of color, of acidity and alcohol content. And these are all the wines that we have here. Uh, going back 1885. Uh, these bottles were blown, most of them historically, and because all the necks are irregular, they seal better. So I always say that uh, wine is not made for lasting forever. Wine evolves, nowadays we know that it becomes rounder and softer and obtain nuances that you will never find in a young wine, but a good old wine is a, is, is a good old wine because it has been good when it was young. Uh, the cellar and the wines that are stored here for us have uh, historical value, affective value, wine, wine making value, enological value because you know we can use all these wines for, for, investigate, for investigating. We use them for, uh, for charity but um, uh, it's not that important the commercial value that they have. It's more important that there are rare wines uh, made by, uh, uh, by my great grandfather, my grandfather, or my father. And this is what uh, has real value for us. But I encourage people to drink the bottles and, uh, and, and store empty, empty bottles, you know, because uh, there are many people who buy wine and store them and they never drink them. And at the end, uh, wine has a life. It never lasts forever. And the nature of wine is either becoming vinegar at the end or sherry, uh, depending on the, on the composition. So, um, 